In the heart of a bustling city, there was a quiet little bookstore nestled between towering skyscrapers. Its exterior was unassuming, with a faded sign that read, Whispering Pages. Few people noticed it, and fewer still ventured inside. But those who did were drawn into a world where time seemed to slow, and the whispers of forgotten stories filled the air. Sophie was one of those rare souls who found solace in the bookstore. Every evening after work, she would slip through its wooden door, the bell above tinkling softly, and lose herself among the shelves. The bookstore had become her refuge from the chaos of the city and the loneliness that often haunted her. Unbeknownst to Sophie, she was not the only one who sought refuge there. A man named Ethan also frequented Whispering Pages, though he always came in the early mornings when the sun was just beginning to rise. He was a writer, struggling to find inspiration in a world that had become too loud, too fast. In the quiet of the bookstore, surrounded by the scent of old paper and ink, he found the piece he needed to write. The bookstore's owner, a kindly old man named Mr. Turner, had noticed the pattern. Sophie in the evenings, Ethan in the mornings. He had a keen eye for such things, and over time, he began to see the connection between the two. They were both searching for something, though they didn't yet know it. And so, Mr. Turner, with a twinkle in his eye, began to play a quiet matchmaker. One day, Sophie discovered a small notebook tucked between two dusty tomes. It was plain, with a worn leather cover, and seemed out of place among the more elaborate volumes. Curious, she opened it and found that it was filled with handwritten notes, musings on love, life, and the beauty of the mundane. The writing was tender and thoughtful, and Sophie felt a connection to the anonymous author. She decided to leave a note of her own in the notebook, just a few lines about how the words had touched her heart. When Ethan arrived the next morning, he found Sophie's note. His heart skipped a beat as he read her words, so full of warmth and sincerity. He felt as though he had found a kindred spirit, someone who understood him in a way no one else did. He wrote back, leaving the notebook in the same spot, hoping that she would return to find it. And so it began a secret exchange of thoughts and feelings between two strangers who had never met. They wrote to each other every day, sharing their hopes, fears, and dreams. Sophie found herself looking forward to her visits to the bookstore more than ever, and Ethan felt a renewed sense of purpose in his writing. As the days turned into weeks, their notes grew more intimate, more revealing. They spoke of their secret longing for a love that was pure and true, the kind of love that they had only read about in books. They began to imagine what the other might be like, wondering if they would ever have the courage to meet in person. One evening, as Sophie was about to leave her latest note, she found a small envelope tucked inside the notebook. It was addressed to her, and inside was a simple invitation— Meet me at Whispering Pages tomorrow evening, just before sunset. E. Sophie's heart raced as she read the note. She had never felt so nervous, so excited. The next day, she could hardly concentrate at work, her mind filled with thoughts of the mysterious man who had captured her heart with his words. As the sun dipped low in the sky, Sophie made her way to the bookstore. The door creaked as she pushed it open, and the bell rang softly above her. The bookstore was empty, save for Mr. Turner, who gave her a knowing smile as she entered. There, standing by the shelves where they had exchanged so many words, was Ethan. He looked up as she approached, and their eyes met for the first time. There was a moment of silence, the world outside fading away as they stood there, taking each other in. Hello, Ethan said softly, his voice filled with the same warmth Sophie had found in his writing. Hello, she replied, a smile spreading across her face. They stood there for a moment, the air between them charged with the electricity of unspoken words. Then, without hesitation, Ethan reached out and took her hand. It was a simple gesture, but in that moment, 
It felt like the most natural thing in the world. And so, in the quiet of whispering pages, surrounded by the stories that had brought them together, Sophie and Ethan discovered a love that was no longer a secret. It was real, it was true, and it was theirs to cherish.